بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most compassionate. Dear viewers everywhere on the globe, I greet you with the greeting of peace. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and peace be unto all of you everywhere. Uh, today, I have a new picture as you see. Some people called it the incredible picture, an amazing shot and I got a lot of comments on it. And I was so happy that the people who sent their comments and made their comments this time, all of them, they connected it with the Quran. And all of them remembered some verses in the Quran and they made very good link between what we see on uh, the screen here or on the plasma plasma as they say here uh, the first comment that came it said that uh, uh, one comment said that when I saw this picture I immediately remembered the Quranic verse that says A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Yukhrijul Hayya Min Al Maid which says that Allah brings out the the live or the living from the dead. When we make a pause here, and we will see that uh, uh, all the other uh, eggs that we see on this picture, you see that they are dead. They are not moving. There is no life in them. But you see only one of them that hatched, and it brought this living thing that moves and breathes and can walk and can run perhaps and jump. So uh, this, is, this is the meaning of it. So you can see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is capable f to do, to change things from the dead state into a living state. It's an amazing quality that no one else can have. Because one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-muhyi and al-mumit. is the one who grants life and the one who takes out life. No one else is uh, described uh, by this quality. So it's a wonderful comment here. And also the picture shows us, uh, alhamdulillah, this sort of uh, birth that we see almost every day. And we immediately attribute it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying subhanallah. Another uh, comment was also again telling us this can teach us uh, self-reliance. You can rely on yourself. In this life, this is the first one to be hatched. He or she seems to be uh, by herself alone and nobody else is there and she has to face, to confront life and to explore and to do some effort in order to look for its food, in order to look for something to drink, in order to live. And this is a very important lesson for all of us. We need to teach our kids. We need to teach our Selves. Yes, on one part, on one side, we need to learn how to work in a group, but at the same time, we need to depend on ourselves. So we need to do some work independently without the help of others so that we can live in this world and we can live peacefully. So we, there are two issues here. One lesson that we can learn here is to work independently from others and at the same time when the other hats then, then and only then you can work together to achieve something uh, more than you can achieve by yourself so the lesson here is self-reliance or how to work independently and as you know that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, encouraged us to work independently and to work in a group so that we can live and we can benefit other human beings and we can make this world that we live in a better place. Another comment that came 
says that when I saw this picture, I remember resurrection. I remember the day of judgment when all the people, when all the people will resurrect. They will come out from their graves, as you can imagine, those chicken or hens are coming out from the eggs. So it's almost similar in a way to resurrection. Try to imagine that, that billions if not trillions, and Allah knows best the number of the people who will resurrect on this day. However, the situation will not be similar to this. The situation will be harder and tougher. The situation and the lesson that we can see by our own eyes, if this happens to uh, the birds and the hens, if this happens frequently, it will happen on the day of judgment. But there is a big difference. We as human beings will be standing in front of Almighty Allah and will be held accountable for everything that we had done in our life. And remember, the two angels are recording everything. Our records will be there, will be seen by us, and everything that we have done is documented there. And depending on what is there, we will face our end. Whether we'll be in paradise with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the righteous people, or we'll be in hellfire. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we seek refuge with Allah to be away from that. Again, another comment came to me, which is another amazing thing, that says that, you see, those eggs, nobody can know that they were either male or female. However, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew, since it was still like, before the creation of this bird, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knew whether it's masculine or feminine. And he used the, the, the person who sent me his comment, Allahu ya'lamu ma tahmilu kullu untha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows whatever or what every female carries. And this shows again the ability and the capability of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, a last comment that I'd like to mention to you before I leave you is that uh, here, Allah uh, ya'lamu man khalaq doesn't the one who created he knows that he he that this bird that will come out from this shell from this egg will have air in the oxygen and he needs to breathe and that's why there is oxygen in the air and that's why he has nose in order to breathe through them uh, there are beautiful comments beautiful lessons that we can learn and again, I'd like to thank those who send their comments to me. And before I leave you, I remind you, uh, we are waiting for your photos. We are waiting for your pictures and your comments. Please send them to alhada, alhuda.tv. Thank you again. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is your presenter, Mamdouh Nuruddin Muhammad. Oh, 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 oh,